students now we will study the practice set 1.2 first example they have said decide which of the following sets are equal sets or which are not so we have to decide which are equal set or which are or which are not here they have given three examples first example they said that a set is x and how the x that 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 B set is given x x is a natural number but neither prime nor composite belongs to n and x should be less than 2 students a said what is it it is given that x a 3x minus 1 is equal to 2 is equal to 2 Now here they have given the equation. They did not give you the x one. So here we have to solve it. So three x minus one is equal to two. So if you solve it, three x minus one, take it on this side. It is minus one. If you take on this side, plus two, plus one. So two plus one. So three x is equal to three. So x is equal to three upon three. Is in multiplication. If you will transfer it on that side, so it's in division. So x is equal to one. So what is A said? Therefore, A said would be it has only one element. That means one. Now we will go for the B said. What is B said? B said is a natural number but neither prime nor composite. So like this example we have studied. So B said which has the neither prime nor composite. That means one. So B is equal to one and A is also equal to one. Now we'll see for the C set. C set, they have said that X is natural number and which is less than two. So natural number and which is less than two. Natural number starts from one and which is less than two. That means only one. So if you observe, A element is one, B is element is one, C is element is one. So decide equal set or which are not equal. So here A is equal to B is equal to C. All sets are equal. Next question: Which of the following sets are empty sets? Sets are empty sets. Empty sets means which doesn't have any element. Now we'll see the first example is given. A, A, A is a natural number, number smaller than zero. Now, students, tell me what is a natural number? Natural number starts from one, two, three, four. But here they have said that the natural number smaller than zero. Smaller than zero, that means A set is empty set. You won't get the element because 
less than 0, there is no natural number. It is empty set or you can write by using symbol 5. Second example, B is a x, x square is equal to 0. Now, tell me x square is equal to 0. Here also we have to find out the value of x. So, x square is equal to 0. So, what is the x value? That means we, I have to take the square root. So, here if I take the square root of this, so 0 square, that means x value would be 0. So, x is having only 0 value. So, B said will have the element. Now, here this is a confusion that x value would be 0. So, 0 is an element. That means B said it has the element 0. So, here n of B is equal to 1. In B said you can find one element. So therefore B said is not empty set. Next example. Write the with reason which of the following sets are infinite or finite set. What is the definition of a finite set? Finite set, it has the limited and countable elements and infinite set, uncountable and infinite set. Let's see the example. Example number 1. A, X, X is less than 10. So, X value is less than 10 and X is a Natural number. So, solution A, X should be less than 10 and it is a natural number. Natural number starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, here you can find out this is the countable and finite set. So, therefore, set A, finite set. Second example, B, Y, Y is less than minus 1 and Y is an integer. Students, integers means negative and positive, both the numbers will, it will come. So, B said solution. B said, so what I have to write list method. If rule method is given, then the, that example I have to convert it into listing method and then I will decide my solution. So, what is y should be less than 1? So, what is less than 1 means minus 2, minus 3 minus 4 and it will be uncountable. So, therefore B set is is a infinite set. Is an infinite set. Third example C set of Students of class 9 from your school. Now, set of students. Here I cannot write the set. But the set of students are from your class 9. So, how are they countable? Yes, they are countable. Are they finite or infinite? Those are limited. So, this set is also finite set. So, this example is a finite set. Here, no need to write the set in by the using listing method. We cannot write. So, C is a finite set. You can write the answer directly by, for the such type of a example. Now, we will see the next example. Fourth example. Say of people. 
of from village. Now set of people from village, those are limited and countable. So you can search, write this is a finite set. Next example, set of apparatus in laboratory. In laboratory also there are the apparatus which are limited. So it is a set of a finite. Next is given set of a whole number. Whole number. Set of whole number. Number. Set of whole number, it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and it is uncounted. So, it is called a infinite set. Now, next example, 6, set of rational number. This also say you cannot represent by the listing method. So you can write this is a infinite set. So infinite set. Students, after watching this video, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon button to get the notification of our next video. Thank you.